Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Lisa's Painting Parties, and we are here live to do another of our weekly paint party nights. Um, this is Paint Party uh, 55, um, and we are going to be painting um, a painting that I named, <laughs> essentially, Sunset at the Beach. Um, the paintings that we um, that I put, post on my page every Saturday, I'll put three different options up, and then everyone gets to vote on the image that they would like us to paint together on the following Wednesday. Um, and uh, the paintings or the pictures that I find are ones that are just ones I find on Instagram or from photos, or sometimes people send things to me. So I don't own the copyright on the images. I don't. Um, I've never painted it before, so this will be my first time painting this as well along with you and the way we do it is I will explain how I would approach recreating it and if you have any tips or tricks or anything you'd like to share please add it into the comments and we can all work together to make a fantastic painting. Um, the one that was chosen this week, this is the image. I feel like the color never looks as nice when I show it on this iPad through here but if you would like what I would suggest, um, being the control freak that I am, um, the posting that has this picture up is up on my page um, on a post yesterday saying that it's the winning picture. You may want to go and just uh, download or save that picture and have that available. The colors will look, I think, a little bit better from there. Here I think they look a little bit dull, but it's actually quite bright purple and pinks and really nice vibrant colors that come out of it. And in the picture that you see there, you'll see all those things too. Awesome. So we're going to be doing this image. Oh, and I see a few of you guys have commented. That's so exciting. Hello, everyone. Hi, Cheryl. And hi, Linda. I'm glad you're joining again. And Kika, yeah, you absolutely can. So Kika asked if she can watch this video later. So uh, any, basically all of my previous paint parties, this one included, once this is complete, will be available on the Lisa's Painting Parties site on Facebook uh, under the Videos tab, and they're all there. Um, alternately, you can also watch it on my YouTube channel, Lisa's Painting Parties, just whatever you prefer. That won't be available like right away, maybe give me about like two hours or so, so I can upload it on there, but it'll be the exact same video. Um, so yeah, so there we go. And um, if you see any random links pop up to click to watch or anything, please don't click those. Um, they are just random scammy things that like to pop up on my page. Um, so don't click on them if you see them come up. Hi, Debra. Hi from Indiana. That's awesome. Nice that you're here for first time. Fantastic. I'm in Ajax, Ontario, which is just outside of Toronto. So it's six o'clock here. It's actually... Um, the sun hasn't gone down yet, so that's kind of nice. I'm excited for the longer days. Um, I'm sure all of you are too. <laughs> it's it's nice to have that, so it's not uh, super dark at like five, right? Um, so that's really exciting. So I'm gonna go through a bit of what you um, what you should have available. Just making sure I have everything good to go. And feel free as we go, please write in the comments, and I will um, comment back and uh, respond back as much as I can. If you happen to see any random scammy links come up being like, click here to do this party, um, and if I don't get a chance to see it, see if you can report it or just make a comment so no one else like clicks on it, because um, I don't want anyone to fall prey to random things that I can't control. Um, hi, Mary. I'm glad you're joining. Yay. Awesome. This is so fun. Okay, cool. Um, so let's go through that. Also, when we start to paint, um, I will move the camera closer so you won't see me, but we might see me a little bit but you'll be able to see the canvas closer and you'll be able to see the iPad with the um, picture a bit closer too. Um, but in terms of supplies, so I use canvas board. Um, this is an 11 by 14 um, and um, you can use anything. So if you have a larger or smaller, if you have an actual canvas, whatever you want, um, this is totally uh, for fun and um, it should be accessible. To whatever you have. I like canvas board because it's easier to frame um, and it's easier for me to store because I tend to not paint over my paintings and I clearly have already 55 <laughs> counting and they're all together in my closet. Um, at the moment some are up so that's where um, that's why I like them too. Um, besides that I also have paint so I use acrylic paint. All of my paint um, is from the Dollarama 
um, which again, and it's all crafters acrylic, so it's not like real painter acrylic. Um, they're like a dollar each. Uh, it's it's mostly cost. Um, so if you have red, sorry, red, yellow, or blue, black, and white, um, we can pretty much make anything out of those colors. Um, if you have other ones that are premixed, so I do have like a premixed pink and a premixed purple, which might come in handy a little bit for this painting. We'll see it's some orange too. Um, you can also use that too. Also, again, this is an inspiration image. So if you want to go rogue and, and make it green and I don't know, whatever, you can change the colors on it um, and just follow the same type of pattern flow. And I can and we'll talk through that as well. Um, when you're using like cheap paint like this, the consistency can change from bottle to bottle. Um, and it can also dry up to make a clump. So you have to you have a couple more like hurdles to jump through, I suppose, but they still produce really great paintings and great work for a very um, cost effective budget. Um, also, I have water container uh, with some waters. I have two of them just for convenience for us here. And then I have, um, I always, I suggest to have at least three paint brushes. Um, so I suggest to have a larger brush. Ooh, my bristles got a little bit funky. Did not dry those very well, clearly. Um, so one that has nice coverage, so we can do a lot in one or a shorter period of time, a medium brush and a fine brush. Um, and I, again, don't say specifically like which sizes, because it really depends on what size canvas you use. So I just say in relation to your canvas size, so that's what I would suggest. Okay. Um, and I do have some other ones I might dip into. And, and again, I don't, I, I, I think it's whatever you're comfortable with. So if you're comfortable using a fine point and you're getting a really good line on it, or if you're comfortable getting a fine point from a medium brush, then you should use whatever you feel most comfortable with. Um, and then of course I also have like my paint palette where I put all my paint on. So just have something you could use like a paper plate or something random. Um, a lot of people do advocate that's better just use like disposable ones because acrylic is hard to get off. Um, and then I have paper towels. So that's what I have prepped for before I start painting. If you're wearing clothes that you love, I would suggest changing and putting on some dirty clothes you don't care about <laughs> because if you get the acrylic on there, um, it's really hard to get off at times. Although a few people have mentioned some tips and tricks to get it off after it dries, which is great. Um, but I would suggest just, you know, being in something that you don't care about as much. Um, awesome. I think we're pretty good. I'm just keeping an eye so I can just make sure there's no other random links that have popped up that I can get rid of those people. Okay, perfect. Good. Um, oh, Asif, hi. I'm so glad that you're joining. It's so great. It's so nice to see so many of you who have returned again. It's great. And Michelle, yes, this will be available. So you can watch it on um, my Facebook page under the videos tab after or on my YouTube channel um, about two or so hours after this live is done. Take me a bit of time to post there. Whatever is more convenient for you. All right. So it is almost 6.05. I usually like to start about then. So we'll be starting in a moment. Just going to have some water. Make sure you have something to enjoy, <laughs> whether it's water or any other beverage that you are happy with. And yes, I did paint my water bottle with acrylic paints, but um, it clearly looks pretty messy now that I uh, have used my bottle a lot. <laughs> um, and it's not really permanent on this kind of plastic. I was just playing with it, but it looks kind of messy. That's okay. Awesome. Hey, Valerie's. Yay, I'm glad you're here. Hi, Georgette. Hi, Dawn. Fantastic. Okay, great. I'm going to move my camera down so you can see this a bit closer. I'll get that set up here. Okay. I think we'll go with that for now. Maybe I'll move a little bit closer. Okay, there we go. We'll do it like this. We'll see how that goes. <clears throat> Perfect. <clears throat> okay, so that's kind of annoying for my leg. <laughs> I sit on the ground to do these um, until my legs don't let me anymore. That's my plan. Okay, so such such a fun picture. I am personally um, a little scared of the waves. <laughs> not gonna lie um but I have a approach and I, I think I'm excited to try it so we'll do that 
Um, the sky, um, I think, is going to be super fun. Um, so I, the way I'm going to approach this painting is I'm going to start with the sky. And I'm going to start with just getting a gradient of colors painted on the background. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about all these lovely clouds and that bright, brilliant sun. I'm just going to get a gradient happening that will go from this dark blue to like a medium blue to a dark purple to a lighter purple to a pink to an orangey yellow peachy color. That's kind of what I'm going to be focused on first, making that gradient. And I'm going to make it so if we are trying to emulate this inspiration picture, um, if you have your painting in a portrait, as I have, portrait, um, what do you call it, orientation, then it looks like it goes below. So the middle of the painting would be about there or so. So it goes just below, okay, actually a good chunk below the middle. So we're going to bring it until about there or so. That's where we want that sky to land. And again, it's up to you. You want it a bigger sky, less water. You want more water. You can change it up. If you want to make it a landscape instead, you can absolutely do that as well. Okay. You can take the same principles that we're doing and you can change it up. Okay. It's not going to matter. I'm going to stick with, actually, I kind of want to do a landscape. No, I'm going to, we're just going to do, we're just going to do portrait. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Sometimes change at the last minute freaks me out a little bit. <laughs> okay. So let's start by getting some colors on our paint palette. So I'm going to get my blue. So the blue that I have today is uh, called Copenhagen blue. Previously, I was using peacock blue, but again, it was really, this is just not with preference. It's more with availability at the dollar store. <laughs> so I'm just going to put a nice globaroony like that on my palette. I am going to get a little bit of black because I do want it to be a little bit darker up there. So with black, unlike that big glob of blue you do, you just need like a little bit. So when I put in relation... That's how much black I would put in relation to my blue. So like very little because black overpowers it all and you only need a little bit to get a, a lot of results. So it's fantastic um, for that. And then if you have purple, you could use purple or you're going to get your red and you're going to get a nice glob of red. Oh, do not go away. There we go. Um, and then I'm also going to put some yellow. I'll show you my palette in just a moment going to get the colors on. Actually, I probably didn't need as much yellow as I put on, but eh, so let me. And then I'm going to get white. So basically all those colors, primary colors that we said, I'm just going to get them going with a nice portion of blue. We have your red and your yellow, a nice amount of white, and just a little bit of black. Okay, cool. So um, I'm going to start with my Whatever big brush you have. Oh, I'm so upset that the bristles got weird. Had this brush for so long and clearly I messed it up last time. Darn it. Anywho. Okay. I'll try to get over it. I might mention it again, knowing me. Okay. So I'm going to start off with my blue. So I'm going to put a generous amount of paint on my big fat brush. And I'm just using the blue itself. I'm not making the darker yet. And I'm just going to start putting that blue on the canvas. So you're going to start... Okay, and we're going to get this blue across the top. And I think I'm going to bring the blue down. Like if we look here, I'm going to bring it down kind of into where I want my dark purple to be. So it's going to be a good like almost a third of the canvas realistically. So I think I want to bring it down almost, <laughs> it feels scary, it feels like a lot. But I'm going to bring it down to almost about there is where I'm going to bring my blue down. Okay. And I like to mix my my paint and get things darker and lighter on the canvas itself so like I said I'll show you you can follow what I'm doing um, alternately you can follow your own beat of your own drum and if you want to pre-mix and get like a darker one first and, and blend it that, that works too whatever you prefer okay I'm also trying to paint the size of my canvas as I go especially if you have um, an actual like canvas with like the size on there, you, you definitely want to have those painted as well. And even though I have a glop here, I'm not going to worry too much about it because we'll cover that up later. It's all good. That's going to happen. I'm just going to bring this down. Okay. Okay, so now 
I'm going to touch a little bit of black, even less than that. So I put some black and then I got rid of it. So I do have black, but it's very little on my brush. And I'm just going to bring it around the top here. And because we're doing this right on top of this wet paint, it's pretty much going to blend and you're only putting a little bit of black. So it's not going to overpower everything, which is nice. Okay. And I need a little bit more. So again, I'm going to get a little bit. And I'm just going to bring it down into my blue and bring it back, my blue back up into it to get a nice blend going on. More black. I do want it a little darker. Maybe a nice gradual, gradual darkness. That sounds a little scary. <laughs> okay, bring it down. Bring it up. And you'll notice that I'm using like long strokes all the way across my canvas back and forth. And that's building it nice and giving a nice gradient already. Okay. And it's really up to you. Like I might want to make it even still a little bit darker up here. So I'm going to put a little bit more. And I think what I'm going to do, so I'm trying to get this gradient in. But where I, when I kind of want that color, I'm going over with my dark paint and I'm just kind of starting to give some movement to my sky because we're going to end up putting a lot of beautiful clouds in here. So I don't necessarily want my brush strokes to be very like super smooth lines, you know, but we'll be adding all that texture on top afterwards anyways. Okay. So from here with this blue, I'm going to reapply my blue paint on top of what I had just done. Back up, I'm gonna just swoosh it a bit. Okay, and I want to start going into a purple. So actually, I think I'm gonna bring it down slightly more. And I'm gonna touch my brush into red, and I have a good amount on there. And I'm gonna start putting it on top of the bottom here, this blue here. So I'm starting to create a purple right on my canvas. Then I'm going to bring it up into that blue. And I'm going to bring the blue back down into that purple, with the back and forth. I'm going to literally move my body too, <laughs> like a rocking motion. So now we have this gradient going from that blue to that purple. I'm just going to move this light a little bit closer. Okay. Cool. Okay. And now we're going to get a little bit lighter as we go down. So what I'm going to try is I'm going to put some white on my brush. We'll see if this works or not. And I'm going to add it just below that purple line. And you'll notice too, again, I'm still using my big brush because there's still a lot of paint on the actual brush. So then when I put the white in and I start blending it that way, it'll get me a lighter purple and it will bring that out more. I don't know if I like that or not. I'm not sure. It's a little too blue for me. Okay. So I'm just going to clear off the excess paint on my paper towel. Leslie, sorry, I didn't see your message until now. What's the best cartridge or watercolor paper? So I'm using this, I'm just using as a canvas board and that's my familiarity. I'm not actually very familiar with watercolor at all. Um, that's not my forte. So I'm not sure. I, I cannot answer that, unfortunately. Um, so I'm just going to clean that up a little bit because I went a little bit too blue. So I'm just going to put more red on top this. We're going to get into like more of a pink. So now I'm going to continue on with my red. My red is super thin. Very, very watery. I 
but I do want it to be more of a pink. So I'm just going to get the red on here first. And then I'm going to get my white and go right on top and get a pink. And I'm just going to bring that in here. And I'm actually going to kind of go up a bit because I'm noticing the color isn't super straight, but it actually kind of tilts up a little bit. And because everything's wet, it's going to blend nicely. Okay, I'm just going to clean that off a bit because I'm finding there's a bit too much blue and I don't want to bring the blue back down into my pink too much. So clean that off a little bit. Lighter, and we'll keep coming down with white. I'm sweeping it kind of like on a little diagonal at the on the side here. Okay, and now I want to go into a bit of yellow. So I'm going to put that yellow like that like just under what we just did, and then I'm going to blend that into my light pink. But I need to start making my horizon line more straight, <laughs> so I'll just bring that down a little bit. This yellow is a little too bright for my liking. I want to dull it out a little bit with white. This yellow is, which one's called? It's called daffodil yellow is this one. And this one is pretty bright. It doesn't matter if your line's not super straight right here, but you want to bring it wherever lower than wherever you want your water to be so we can put that water on top and create a nice um, horizon line with the water afterwards. Okay. So now we have a nice basis, a nice gradient um, happening on our page. That's what we need a basis of. So we have the, the color scheme that we want to go to. Okay. Um, and you can kind of play with it until you're happy with it. So if you want it to be a little bit lighter, you can. I wouldn't go super light with this color. Like I, I wouldn't go with like a white or a really bright yellow because you want this to be white, essentially, with like a nice yellow um, border to make that sun really stand out. So I would still keep this with more pigment in it. That's what I would suggest to do. Okay. So just taking a lot of the um, paint out of my big a big old brush. Okay, cool. It's so pretty already. The colors are just spectacular. I, I love this image. I'm just so like, I want to make sure I do it justice, you know? Like, <laughs> that's where it gives me a little anxiety. I'm like, oh, I hope it turns out as nice as it looks in this picture. So I'm already noticing with my painting versus this one, like I have, it's a little bit lighter in the pink zone. I have less of a purple going on. Um, but I do like the color. I like this pink that I created here. Um, I think that looks really nice. And so what we're going to do next is we're going to start putting in clouds. So I think at the same time, I also still, I might even want to still do another layer on top because I'm noticing on my canvas that I can still see a lot of um, the canvas behind it. So it's, it's, but it's not like a super opaque background and I don't really like that too much. Um, I don't know if you can see it so much. You can see what I mean. Yeah, there, you can kind of see it like that. So you can tell there's like brush strokes, which is cool. And I do like that, but I can still tell too much that there is like there's canvas behind it. You know, I don't know if I like that too much. So I might want to do another coat before I start putting in my, clouds. Um, I do want to dry slightly before I do that though. Okay. I think I'll start at the top anyways, because this is already pretty good. It's just as we come down. So I'm going to essentially do the exact same thing I just did um, and put another coat 
essentially on top of what I created. Okay. So again, I'm going to start only this time. I am going to put a little bit of black right off the hop at the top. <laughs> that rhymes it. Black and my blue. So blue. And let's get a little black. I'm just going to want it to be a bit more opaque. Especially in the dark areas. Like I don't, especially in this, like at the top here, I, I definitely don't want to be able to see the, the white of my canvas. So this time I am kind of going over and I'm doing my strokes a little bit. Instead of being fully diagonal to get that coverage, I am doing a bit more of like an X kind of shape on it. To start getting this kind of like movement in the sky. Let's put some red now on top of this blue. I like to see the brush strokes on it. I just don't like to see the canvas underneath it. So let's continue on with this purpley. I'm going to put more red here and blend it. The more layers that you do as well, and you should do thin layers. Um, if you do make it too thick and you're trying to put more paint on top, it will just peel away like it, it will just pull the other coat that you put on you'll get right back to that canvas that I'm trying to avoid whoops one second get that back going okay there we go my apologies for that oh thank you I'm so glad that you think it's pretty that makes me so happy Hi, Patty. Yay. Um, I, yeah, you could. So Michelle's asking how would I frame this? So, um, I have a frame actually, I think my mother-in-law actually got it from like, uh, um, they have like a community, I don't know what it's called. It's like the dump basically where you go and bring your garbage, but there's like a section where like you have, you can bring your old belongings that you don't need anymore and people can take them for free. Um, so, uh, she calls it her like town, town mall. <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah, so I know she had picked up a frame or two there, which is fantastic. Um, I do think the dollar store does have frames available. Um, I don't know specifically if it's that size, um, but I have seen larger ones. So I would definitely check that out for sure. Um, and as long as it's, it fits in it, um, like the frame I have, this is so thin um, that it can just sit in and a glass can even go on top of it. Like it fits in perfectly in any kind of like picture frame type flow that you would want to do. Um, I know to Michael's is usually pricier, obviously. Um, but they do have lots of like different sales that, um, they give like percentages off different things. If you sign up for like a mailing list or something, apparently they do like Lots of things like that. So I would check them too if you're looking for a frame. That white's a little.
yellow bowing. Now, so I'm just doing the same thing we did initially, only like another layer on top. And instead of doing sweeping motions from side to side, I'm just going like little kind of X's and backs back and forth just to give it a feeling of like wind and being swept, swept away. I want a little bit of red in here, but uh, I'm scared. I may have done too much. I want it to be more orangey. of that brush so I'll have too much darkness on it. Okay, there we go. Okay. Just putting in some more, make it a little lighter. I love doing skies so much. I love doing landscapes and skies and all that loveliness way more than anything very precise. Okay, I'm just putting out this brush a bit. Okay, jokes. Hello, Joe. Nice. For you to join us again that's fantastic you guys had a big snowstorm out in bc a little while ago which was not normal for you <laughs> um and valerie said the dollar store has eight by ten canvas boards and smaller and then dollar frames so do you leave the glass in the frame um it depends on the frame so the frame that i have um that i use mostly and I use the one because I don't have, like, I have many paintings in my house. <laughs> um, I don't have a frame for all the paintings. So some of them just sit on different surfaces. Um, the one in particular that I use, that one does have a, has a glass on it and that keeps it protected. I have another one that does not have a, a glass on it. And that one I think was probably the one that we got at the town mall that the dump <laughs> that didn't have a glass, but it works quite well. Um, and I feel like too, it doesn't really need, I mean, a glass is great because it will al allow dust not to settle on it and, um, dust accumulates so much on everything, especially because it's still technically like a material and that's annoying. Um, so it's definitely nice to have a glass on it, but not necessary because other paintings don't, right? That are on like actual full on canvases, like stretched canvases. Okay. So I've done my second layer and I can still, again, I did some brush strokes that did pull a little bit, but I like it. Um, I feel like that still gives it a nice, like windy, cloudy kind of sky vibe to it. It already had, it feels like it has clouds kind of in there. I'm just trying to show you closely so you can see that. Okay. And the blending and then it's, and it's okay if there's some like, things like that, that works out well because we're going to be putting in um, different bursts of clouds all over the place. Okie dokie. So that is the next step is the clouds. Um, so I'm going to move on from my large brush that has lots of, lots of coverage. And I'm going to pick up one of my medium sized brushes. I don't know which one I want to use. I don't know which one's going to give me the most control in the way that I want it. All about the control I am. Okay. Maybe this one might work. I don't know. I feel like this one feels right. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. So where shall we start with the clouds? So the ones that look the most vibrant and up close are these lighter blue ones. Um, but we also have some of this medium kind of tone blue as well. We have some that are a little bit darker. Um, and if you look behind the blue, you'll see a little bit of purple happening. You'll see a little bit of this, the pinky colors happening. Um, so I think I actually want to start by putting in cloud, like 
cloud feelings um, and vibes uh, with the lightest color. So I'm going to start putting in some, I guess, impressions of clouds that are kind of this orangey yellow color a bit. And then I'm going to build from there and start putting pink impressions going up. And then I'll be doing the light purple, the medium purple, and like get into the blues after that point. That's how I'm going to approach it. Cool. Awesome. Oh, Ashley. Well, thanks for popping in and saying hi. I'm so happy. I know you mentioned you were going to do a rogue version, and I'm so excited to see what, what you mean by that, what you're going to do. It's so fun. Um, there's so many great, uh, there's so many votes this week. And I love the images. I love the one with the palm trees because I love the angle of them. And there's some really cool things. And having, like, those rocks, right, on the other one, like, that's super cool. And we could always add something like that to this, right? Like, if you really liked, if you know what I'm talking about, <laughs> you know which the other options we had. There was another option that had, like, a, a similar type of idea where it had a beautiful sky and a beautiful beach and water. But then it had, like, a rocky kind of cutout all along the exterior, like, the... Uh, side essentially of your canvas that made it look like you were inside like a rock hiding hideaway enjoying it and that was really cool so that's something you can always add if, if that's you know whatever floats your boat okay so back to back to the canvas so I want to get a hmm, how coloring do I need so on my palette I'm going to get kind of an orange happening so I just I put some red into my yellow I don't know if it helps if you want to see me do that, just because I never really show that, but I know Asif has mentioned many times that I should be showing how I hold my brush and how I mix the paints. Um, so I have kind of an orangey happening, but I want to make it a little lighter, so I'm going to get some white, just to get kind of almost like a peachy color. And I'm just bring my brush one side, the other side. And that's basically loading this part here, the main part where all the bristles are in the in, like the inside there with a lot of paint, which would give me some ammunition to do this. So I'm going to start putting in just kind of like feelings of clouds. And you can't really tell too much because the color is almost the same, but I'm going to start getting this cloud movement vibe happening. Okay. And we're going to end up putting other things on top of this too. So this is just to get the flow. And as you get into a different, to this, you might get a bit of a, you able to see it a little better. Okay. Can you even see that? No. <laughs> it just looks like I'm painting the same color on top of it. That's <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going to make it maybe slightly lighter so you can actually see a difference. Oh yeah, I can't see anything. <laughs> putting more white into it and we're still gonna have that sun happening yet so I'm just gonna play with this a little bit and I'm going to try to start making kind of the sweeping motion so it kind of goes upwards. Okay, so just have little clouds come up and around happening okay so now I want to go and make more of a pink so I'm going to do the same kind of thing same brush get my white into my red I saw the other color in here too but that's okay because I can utilize that I just put white in here and I'm just moving it back and forth get it nice and loaded like fully full Okay, and I'm going to start putting in some oh, pink happening. And I want to put some into this area here too. And some here. Okay. 
I'm just dabbing it away. Finding that this brush is like half good and half not what I want. It holds a lot of paint in the, um, I think it's called the belly. I might be wrong. But I kind of want it to be more at the ends. Some more white happening. Okay, cool. It's not, this brush is not working the way I want it to work, but it's still giving me a little bit. I'm going over some of the pink ones and I'm just putting a little bit of white on them just to give them a bit so they're not so flat. So they have a little bit of texture to them, a little bit, a little highlight. Moving around there. Okay, cool. All right. Okay, I don't know if I want to continue doing this one. I want to make it darker, get more of a purple happening. Ah, okay. So let's make some purple. Let's do that with purple. So now I have red, oh, I have blue, sorry. And then I have red and I'm just putting them together. And then you get some purple. Then I'm going to get a glob of white. I mean, I shouldn't have went that light yet, but we'll go with that. And if I just darken it, I don't know. I think I do want to darken it. Let's get some more blue in there. And a little bit more red. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so we'll paint on that. We can still utilize that. Okay, so let's start off by getting some cloud vibes happening here. Trail some off on the side here. Okay, I'll get some more happening in here. We'll put one here, maybe. Maybe that one's coming in here. So as we like put layers on top of layers, it, it'll look much nicer. It'll look better. Okay, let's keep this flowing. A little bit down here. Well, that seems a little bit weird, but we'll do it. We have some in here too. Okay, let's continue on. Let's get those. There isn't as many in the back, but I'm going to put a little bit happening. Later. Okay. Mm, I don't know. I'm gonna keep it like that. Not so sure. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. Well, I'm digging this purple. I think I'm gonna still put some. More. I'm gonna put more here. I'm gonna put another one, kind of like here-ish. I'm just globbing it on, like touching it a little bit, giving it a little movement and feeling. 
Um, <laughs> I don't know. What else? Where else should we go? I don't know. I think I want to make this a little bit darker. And just put a little bit of, I have to put a little bit of blue and just want to touch some of these up a little just to give it a bit of a, I don't know actually if I like that or not. Okay, that's not too bad. I'm just going back over and putting another little bit of purple on top of that blue I just did. Oh, nice. Junior says, just got home and have to see what's going on here. It looks wonderful. I'm so glad you think so. It's really fun. I really like, I'm really digging this. Let me just show you a bit closer. That's kind of what it looks like. Close up, it always looks a little bit funky, I find, until we start putting more layers on top. So if yours is looking a little like, oh, like you're really being close and you're like, what? It just looks like weird. Like the brush strokes don't look right. It doesn't look like clouds yet. It's okay. As we continue going, you're going to add more and it will all come together. Okay, so now let's go into the sky and I want to do some darker clouds. So I'm going to try just with my blue first see what happens and then we might change it up as we go. Okay, so I don't know. I'm trying to make them weird shapes. I'm trying to be like conscious about it, but I, I also don't want it to be super uniform, so little tricky sometimes. Okay. I think I'm going to keep putting more in here, even if there'll be more, I can't really see as much, but it's to give me direction to go on later. So it's working nicely. This blue is actually coming out really bright in certain areas and dark in other areas, which is cool. Okay, neat.
Okay, so I want to get some that are a little bit lighter. So I'm just going to put some white into my blue to make it a little bit lighter. And I might actually just add it to some of the ones I just put in. So I think I'm just going to kind of highlight some of these a wee bit. some big ones on the side. Um, don't want to do it. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Let's do some of the brighter blue ones now. It's kind of a weird one that has a funky shape here. Like that one a little bit too light. I'm just going to try to put a little bit of blue back in there. Okay, let's continue on that side. Don't go away. There we go. <laughs> I thought I was going to blink out a little bit. Darker blue in here too. Okay, cool. I feel like this one's still very light. I don't know if I like that that light. Cool, that's nice. Um, I think I want it to be a little bit lighter on this guy too. Hmm. I go too light sometimes. Okay, I'll just darken it up a little bit. Okay. Darker blue, just mix it in some of the darker areas. Give it a bit of shadow. So pretty! Alright. Oh, it's got fuzzy. There we go. So there's a bunch of clouds dancing around in the sky. And what I would say is, uh, what I recommend is that um, the more layers you put on it, the more deep, um, the more it's going to pop, um, the more it's going to come to life. So you may want to even go back and get some more like purple and put that a little bit on top of this blue guy and just put another kind of color happening there. And then you want to, we want to go back to like the blue and just get a little bit more happening on top and it kind of blends together so you can kind of keep layering and it will keep building and continue it'll just continue this process of looking really cool especially if we can mess up the background a little bit I kind of like it not to be super uniform I want that darker Okay, 
think, I think that's pretty good for now. too dark here. I want to lighten that up a little bit. I'm going to make some more pink. I'll just go over the next purple because I feel like it's a little too dark for this zone. I'll put a little bit of this pinky red on top just to dull out the harshness of it. much for me. Okay. Alright, so we're going to start um, the sun's not on the water. I don't know, maybe we'll do the sun first. Maybe we'll do this on first. Why not? I feel weird doing the sun before we put the water. I feel like we need to put the water in first. I'm not sure why, but it doesn't feel right to me. So yeah, we're going to do the water first. <laughs> then we'll put the sun in. I know I just changed my mind, but that's what we're going to do. Okay. So, um, not too bad. So that... Beautiful cloud sky took about an hour. That makes about that makes sense. Honestly, it could take longer. I think it would be kind of neat to build a lot more cloud layers, like have a lot more going on instead of just having the sweepy background. Really put in a lot of this kind of texture and then keep building, and I, it would really pop nicely too. Um, but for the time being, let's move um, and play with the water. So if we look at the water. There's a lot going on, um, and um, I know when I first look at it, it's, it is intimidating, at least for me, to see all the detail in the rocks and all of the, the motion that really creates everything in here. Um, so you're not alone if you're feeling a little like, oh, goodness. Um, but we're going to break it down similar to what we did with the sky, right? So we want to first get a base of what's happening here. So if you look, um, again, you have a nice gradation as well, right? Um, it's mostly a very dark, um, I would say it's almost a black, but I would say it's like a dark purple, a dark blue. It's similar to what we have up here, um, but I would still go more in like a purple vein, but it's still pretty dark. So we're going to have a nice dark start, and that's going to come down, um, and then it's going to become lighter, right? It has going to have more of the pinks and the purples that are going to show up more at the bottom. Um, but we're going to bring that dark uh, water to get a nice base on the water first and then we might put in a bit of this lightness in right away I'm not exactly sure or if we're just gonna do fully dark mm. so yeah but we are definitely gonna start off with a nice dark base before I put in all the bright colors on top of it so again I'm going to go um, hmm, do I want to go with this right off the bat so I do want to get a nice straight line for my horizon and despite my attempts in the past um, I cannot do that freehand <laughs> so what I would suggest if you are working on a flat surface we could use potentially a ruler or sometimes I even need a paper towel just to give me like a guide um, everything here is pretty dry at this point so I might just well that's a bad example of that you might just like line it up and then you can just bring your brush across to get you like a nice straight line um this paper towel is a little bit funky maybe that's not the best hmm. i usually have one of my previous paintings nearby i'm just gonna do that grab it or a paper or something like that 
All right, so let's, I'm gonna use another painting. Um, so I'm going to line this up. Maybe keep this side like that. And then I'm gonna put a line with my brush that way. So first I'm gonna get the paint on my can, my palette so I don't mess this up because I do only have two hands. I just need to replenish my black a smidgen. Okay, so let's get blue. I'm gonna get a little bit of black in that blue. Okay, and I'm gonna attempt to do this upright. I would suggest if you are using a flat surface, that would be ideal, but I will do this just to show what I mean. So I'm just gonna hold it straight and I'm just going to bring my brush across. Still a little bit funky, but we can fix that from there. Perfect. Okay, maybe not perfect, but at least we have a straight horizon line. All right, so I just want to touch in some of those. Um, which one's going to be my friend? I think not this brush. You know what? No. I'm going to keep this brush going. We are going to continue with this water. So I'm going to keep with this very dark blue for now. And then I'm going to put some more black in, get a nice water going. I'm going to touch a little bit of red because I do want a purple vibe to come out of it. And that's not going to happen unless we have a little bit of red happening. dark and then we'll add in all the lighter colors afterwards. So this is just to get the base in. I'm going through so much blue today. Oh sorry I missed some of your messages. My apologies. Kathy, yes, this is recorded and it will be available at any time. I'm not planning to take it down so you can watch it whenever it's convenient for you. Um, this brush that I'm using is a, what is it called? Who knows? Um, it's a number 10. It says it's a pure bristle brush from China. <laughs> that is the brush I'm using. It is, um, I know I got it in a set from Desairs. I don't know if you have a Desairs near you. A long, long, long time ago, but I know they still have those sets available. I think they're like $25 or $30 and you get like, you know, 10 brushes. Um, I The long handle. I do like using the long handle, although in this capacity, it does end up hitting my, um, <laughs> my um, computer a lot. Um, but I like the, the feel of it, so. That is what I do. Oh, that's a great point. Uh, Junior Bennett says, um, takes out uh, the glass to maintain the texture of my work. The decision's yours. I know with oil, there's no glass, but not sure why, just textured maybe, just an opinion. I think that's a fantastic um, point, because yeah, you're right. When there is textures, you don't want, glass will, that, that makes no point. <laughs> so that makes a lot of sense. Most of my acrylic paintings lately have been pretty flat, um, but that is a very, very good point. 
Um, and Pi says, could you use uh, painter's tape? Absolutely, you could use painter's tape, yeah. That would probably be like the smarter decision to do. Just make sure that if you're using anything, whether it's like my old canvas like I showed you, or painter's tape, just make sure that it's all dry. Because that will, especially if it's like that point where it's like almost dry, but it's still wet, it will just pull it right off and your your beautiful clouds or what you're doing will be negatively affected by it, which would be sad. All right, I'm just going to clean off that brush and then I'm going to go with um, a brush to have a little more control over just to like clean up my horizon line now that I have a guide to go by. There is um, a fantastic uh, person who does um, painting tutorials, tons of acrylic and tons of watercolor um, tutorials on her site. Um, her site is The Art Sherpa, um, and I've done, I think, two, maybe two of her paintings um, before. Um, oh my gosh, she has so many free tutorials also available, beautiful designs. Um, but she has a really great video on how to care for your brushes um which i watched recently and it was super informative um and just very like she's so friendly and lovely that um i would strongly recommend you um check her out called the art sherpa and check out some of the videos especially if you're looking for um just like especially well for honestly her chores are amazing um but um if you want like some brush care tips or anything like that um, really, really awesome resource. And especially with the watercolors. I know someone had mentioned the watercolors. She has so many videos on that. I have not delved into watercolors. I don't really have an interest at the moment to do watercolors. I don't know. Like, I, I, I like, I kind of want, like, it, it's intriguing, but I think I just like, I like my comfort zone for now. Maybe one day when I want to branch out, we'll see. I've also been very intrigued with oil paints, but again, they freak me out, so I stick with my acrylics. Okay. Just to clean up the line a little bit. It still made it a little bit more curvy, but uh, works out. Oh, hi, Marion. And thanks so much, Sherry. Um, how do I spell her name? So her actual name is a really cool name. Her name is Cinnamon Cooney. <laughs> Which I'm like, that's super cool that your name's Cinnamon. But anyways, um, but it's the Art Sherpa. So the Art, A-R-T, and Sherpa is S-H-E-R-P-A, the Art Sherpa. And her site, she has like tons. If you just do a Google search, you'll find her. She looks like she has her own line of like paint brushes and stuff too. So she's, yeah, she's been doing this process for a good long time. And it looks like this is like her full on career like my she's like my goal <laughs> what I'm striving towards <laughs> and I just love the way she approaches it like it's super engaging and fun and um, achievable which is which is nice I like that all right so we have a nice dark deep water happening a nice base for what we're going to do next and like I said this is the part that's out of my comfort zone I don't have much practice excuse me at all with painting waves. Love, 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 love painting water. Love painting like textured water. Um, but this is very new to me to get this like whole rolly wave kind of pattern flow going. So I think the way I'm going to approach this, so I have like a nice base of darkness, base of darkness. Um, and I'm gonna start, I think, to get some color going on here. Um, I still want to have a bit of like this nice coloring change happening here. 
Um, so what I'm thinking of doing is, I think I'm going to similar tactic to what we do with the rest of the painting, where I'm going to work for whatever is furthest away and build on that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a black, this, you know, right underneath here, there's like a shadow under the wave. I want to put in this black shadow first, wherever I want that, these waves to happen. That's what I'm going to do first. And then I'm going to build down to get it a bit into this gradient of purpley blue and then mixing it into these lighter colors and pull it down from there. That's how I'm going to approach it. And like I said, I'm pretty, uh, this is me testing it out too. So if you want to do along with me, you're welcome to. If you want to wait to see if I mess things up before you start, then you are more than welcome to do that as well. Um, oh, awesome. Yeah, so Valerie says that um, she's watched uh, the art trip of a four two on YouTube. Yeah, there's a YouTube channel as well. Fantastic. Super cool. If you enjoy my stuff and you haven't heard of them, before, like you would, you're going to love it. You're going to love her. She's fantastic. All right. So now, which brush is my friend for this practice? I think I'm going to stick with my medium size brush. I think, I think. Okay. So I'm going to go with black, a little bit of black on the end of my medium size brush. And that way, that's kind of like, I'm going to go with up here, even though I know there's something else happening down here, but I'm going to just play with here first. Okay. So let's put in, in black, this bottom this line, kind of like where, let's make this wave kind of go up and down. And then I know it's going to come a little bit darker under here. All right, that's some nice, and then we can build some of the, the foaminess on top of this afterwards. So I think this will work well. Otherwise, we have weird black rocks floating, which could work too. Okay, and then we have this other like curve that happens here, and some shadow here too. Okay. We'll see. We'll see if this is going to be the right decision or not. Okay. So I got the black. I want this to have more on this side. Okay. I'm just going to bring this around a little bit. Okay. So we got some shadows happening there. All right. So I want to get some purple. So I'm going to get some blue and some red. Maybe some more blue. Nope, maybe some more black. We'll see. Ah. I'm just going to blend that more. Now it's too dark. Okay, black is dangerous. It just takes over. Okay, let's go back to purple. Down here it's pretty dark and purple. So we're going to. I wanted to bring it around. I'm going to work pretty quickly and messily just so I can mix it into the black and blend while it's wet because it is easiest to have a nice like blend vibe when everything's still wet. But it's hard to do sometimes. I want the dries as you can see here. Here's already pretty dry so it's not mixing into my black very well. So then I need to grab a little bit more black so I can mix my purpley things happening here. Okay, so now I want to go in and do a bit more. I'm going to bring it lighter, a little lighter. It's happening in here. That's a little bit too much. Let's darken that up a little bit. I think someone's doing fireworks. Anyone else in Ajax out there? Someone's, uh, I mean, I'm hearing, first of all, I wasn't sure what it was. Was it a car backfiring? But that, it definitely sounds like fireworks. Someone is, I mean, my birthday is tomorrow, so, you know, they should be playing fireworks, I think. I think that makes sense, right? <laughs> okay. 
not sure exactly what I'm doing. I'm just kind of trying to blend and get some more colors happening in here and try to mix it, but then try to keep it watery and wavy, which is a little tricky. I think I need to be more free with my hand a bit as I'm doing this. Now in here is way lighter. Okay, let's let's do it. Let's go crazy. I've got to become more free with it. Okay, let's go. Swishy back and forth. Let's do it. Let's let loose and get this color happening. man, there's like full on fireworks. I love fireworks. So I'm going back and forth between pretty much all my colors. I'm going to blue, getting some purple, getting some red, getting some pink, and then I'm just trying to get more of a lighter hat fitting on this side. Trying to use like quick brush strokes just to have a watery vibe. And then we'll put in some more detail with a more detailed brush afterwards. To get those little like specific -y lines happening. Okay. So that's what I have so far. I'm gonna bring it a little closer. So hopefully you can see it a bit. So I don't know if you can really see the colors again. It's so weird because I feel like the light shines on it in a strange way. So I just have like this different color happening. I feel like it needs to get a little bit lighter and more intense in here. I would want that. I need to put more red on my palette. Yeah, what is up with that? So much fireworks. So strange. that has a nice feel to it and I still want to put in some weirdy little lines in there afterwards now before I put in that rim of like crashing wave above that I want to go back here and I want to get the same kind of vibe with the water um, I just don't know if I want to use this brush or if I want to use a different brush I'm going to start with this brush and then I might change to a thinner one afterwards let me just Let's just get some lines happening in here. It's a little too thick for my liking. I'm not going to get too close because we're going to end up putting those like crashing waves on top of that shadow. I do want this to get more of a water vibe. Moving water. I do want it to be darker up here. Black and red and blue. Okay. That feels a little bit better. It was, it was a little too similar. Okay, now I think I'm going to switch to my thinner brush. Because back here, because it's further away, those waves and those crashing um, a lot thinner, obviously. So this brush is not going to cut it, not at all. Oh, thank you so much, Linda. I'm glad you like it. Oh, thanks, you guys. <laughs> You're so sweet with the messages. That's very sweet of you. Thank you. 
You're welcome for the birthday fireworks. <laughs> are you are you doing them, Sherry? Is that you? <laughs> I appreciate it. Very thoughtful of you. <laughs> So funny story, um, I, uh, one, uh, I met this, this lady who's now my friend, but, um, she was the, she's the mom of, um, one of the friends of my son. So my son had a friend and, uh, we ended up meeting, you know, we're outside waiting for kids to be picked up. And I said, I see this lady for a long time and we just talk randomly and eventually we're talking more. So we ended up hanging out a little bit and, um, in our conversation, we find out that our birthdays happen to be the same day. So that's kind of cool. We're like, okay, cool, March 4th. Cool, that's neat. And then we find out that we're born the same year. And we're like, oh, that's interesting. Okay, cool. We're both born in Canada, but she was born in a different province. So we're like, okay, okay, that, that makes sense. But then as we talk more, we find out that um, we both have a journalism degree <laughs> at different universities or schools, right? But... Uh, we both have a journalism degree, and we both married our husbands, who have a birthday that's two days apart. <laughs> and she loves to paint, um, very crafty, very creative. Um, yeah, so it's it's pretty funny. Uh, we're both very like into like word games and so, very similar in so many ways. And how creepy, right? You just meet someone else that you know. And then our son, obviously, and our, and our kids, too, they're the same age, right? They're both in the same class. They're both, uh, my son just turned nine. Her daughter will turn nine soon. I was like, what? How did that happen? So cool. Anyways, kind of random. But, yeah, kind of funny. So, anyways. All right, cool. Um, I want to go with my thinner brush now, and I want to start putting in a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of lines to get this like nice vibe of um, moving water that's crashing. You can almost hear it crashing as you're looking at this painting. So I'm going to go, I think first, you know what? I might just go straight up with like some black and I might put in kind of where I want some of these same like I did here. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Okay. So I'm going to put like a line like here and I want it to kind of, Go up and down. It's gonna be a little thinner, of course. Okay, cool. And then I think I'm gonna have another one like here. A bit of a shadow for that wave. And then I'm gonna do another one like here. Okay, and another one here. I want to know if this is the right move until we actually continue on, so we'll see. Okay, there we go. I've got some shadow happening. Right, Patty? Really? Yeah, hilarious. So random. But like super cool. So of course, again, anyone who's seen a couple of my things, you'll know that I'm, I also really enjoy astrology and I think it's really fun. So I had to be like, okay, like I need to see your birth chart. Like, cause you're born in a different province. Like, do we have similar placements? Like what's going on? Like what's, what's all this? So it's, it was kind of neat. It's neat when you fa ha have someone who's so like, who's very similar to you. This brush is not, ugh, I don't like it. So this is supposed to be thin, but like my um, bristles are like going like this instead of, you know, being nice and thin. And it's, I'm going to put it on that side because I don't want to use that anymore. It's bothering me. I'll go with my really thin one. But yeah, but yeah, but we saw quite a few differences because it was in a, again, she was, we were born in different provinces. Um, But yeah, so neat. Like, and so random. Oh, and the other thing too. Oh, another thing. Uh, both of our mother-in-laws have the same name. They're both named Linda. Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> I was like, that's so random. <laughs> that was funny. That was another one. I was like, what? Another similarity? Come on. That's weird. We were, I, I know, like, I thought it was really cool, and I was, like, wondering if there was more, and I think she was just a little creeped out by it. 
I was like, this is so fun. Let's find out more. What else? What else do you know? What else is similar? She was like, I think we should just stop. <laughs> That's where we were different, I think. Okay, now I'm using such a thin brush that it hardly holds any paint, so I have to keep going back for more little lines, but that's all right. It will just make those even more detailed. It's all good. I'm just going to put like little lines. I'm just using black right now, and I'm going to dip in and get more and some different colors happening. And remembering that we're going to put in some of that wave crashing up here above all those darker shadowy lines yeah and i think i was really excited too because um i'm an only child so i think having someone who had so many similarities um, and I'd always wanted to have, like, a sibling. So I was just like, oh, my gosh. We're, like, the same person. <laughs> Very exciting for me. The inner, like, you know, 11-year-old inside of me was like, ah, so cool. Okay, so put a couple of little lines going on. Oh, bye, Jennifer. I'll see you later. Thank you. Yeah, definitely finish it up and uh, I'd love to see it when it's done. Right, Patty? Yeah, we were supposed to meet, right? Oh, I'm so glad you love this, Sherry. That's so good. I'm so happy. I love doing this with you guys. It's so fun. Okay, I'm gonna, I need to get some purple happening. To get some purple lines. So I'm gonna make some red and some blue. Yeah, I just, um, on Saturday, I hosted um, a birthday party for um, Crystal, who found me through Facebook with all of her family and friends, and that was super fun. So if any of you guys have port birthdays coming up or any types of party or gatherings or stuff and you want um, to do a paint party and you're interested in that, definitely message me and we can talk about that if it makes sense. So fun. And it's fun because then we can do it over like Zoom or some other platform where then we can talk together. And if you have specific questions about your painting, we can talk. It's a little bit, it is, it is tricky when there's like quite a few people on. Um, especially if, and then also when there's a party too, because sometimes people then on Zoom, like they're talking to each other. <laughs> so it's hard to like, which makes sense. And you want that to happen. Otherwise, you know, it's not fun, but it's hard when there's like, you know, 10 screens going and, you know, it's tricky, but it's a lot of fun. So if that's something that you might be interested in, definitely let me know. And someone else had reached out and asked if I wanted to do like a fundraiser. So that's we another event that'll be coming up. I think we've landed. Um, I don't know if we've actually decided specifically on which date. I don't remember now. I was very busy with my regular, regular, or my real like paid job. <laughs> so I haven't um, gone through too much. It's been very busy with work. Um, but that should happen around Mother's Day. So I will put... Once I have what that looks like, um, I'll probably be posting it on my page too. So if you're interested or you want to support, you're more than welcome to do that. Okay, so I just put in some like, with my super, super tiny detailed brush here, painstakingly put in a couple more lines to get more of a vibe of the water. It's really hard for you to see, I think. There, I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can see at least some of the black lines, but there's some little like darker purple lines too that I've put in. And I'm doing them more back here right now and I'm gonna go here afterwards because I wanna do something else up there. 
Hi, Marion. Uh, so happy that you're here. Yay. Yeah, it's so weird how many similarities, right? Like, so strange. Okay, so what else do I want to do in this water back here? Well, I want to get a little bit of yellow happening. Well, maybe that was a little too thick. Okay, so I want some yellowy kind of vibes. Okay, let me just clean that thin brush a bit. Let's get some red and some yellow and make a bit of an orange happen. Very tricky to mix with a very thin, fine brush. Okay, it's fine. It's working. So I just want to get a little bit of this orangey ripples happening. Especially down this middle area because our sun will be reflecting about here. So we're going to put the most in this spot here. I'm going to put a little bit on this side. I'm going to put a little bit in here. Okay. Get some yellow. I want it to be a little brighter. I'm just going to go over some of that in yellow too. And there's like a little bit that kind of Touch a little bit in here. Okay, cool. That looks a little bit funky up there. I think I need to fix that. Get black. Cover that up a little bit more. There we go. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, all right. So I wonder. So we can obviously keep putting in more and more little lines of. What time do we got? Seven thirty. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm gonna go. So. The more, again, the more layers that you put in here, um, the more little lines, the more it's going to build up and the water is going to look more vibrant. So I would suggest continuing to put on more layers, get some more purple, we'll get black, go over it, go back and forth, and you'll have a nice, um, you'll be able to play with that really nicely there. Um, let's go down here because I want to add some of those like weird ripply effects um, with my thin brush, and then we're going to put in the some of the waves to get that flow happening okay so let me see so how are we going to do this so we want like a light blue let's play with that first so I'm mixing some white into my blue and it's almost like the clouds that they're kind of like a weird like oh that's very um that's too white not enough blue, okay. So I'm just gonna bring my brush kind of back and forth weirdly. Some weird crinkles happening. I'm not really sure. I'm just gonna work out the way I want it to. We'll see. We'll see how it works as I keep going. I have some more here. And then 
more here. The thin brush is so thin. Weird ripples happening. That's a little bit too white. Still a little white, but Yeah, I think that's working. Okay, let's get some yellow happening. Some blob of white for the lighter yellow. Thanks so much, Jean. Yeah, it's turning out, it's, yeah, it's really fun. I'm kind of just doing like a, a zigzaggy vibe, but I'm trying not to make them super like following any kind of pattern because I feel like that takes away from feels so weird and looking at it close up I feel like it looks so 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 strange but what are we gonna do we're gonna keep keep doing it keep adding more layers and keep going because there's always a weird awkward stage I find with acrylic painting I just gotta keep on chugging along And I'm using some red and some pink just to do the same kind of like, like lines that we have with the other colors. <laughs> it seems so strange at the moment, but it's okay. Okay. All right, so I'd like to start putting in our crashing waves and see how that's going to play out. Another kind of thin brush, but okay. So they're white, but they're kind of like a light blue as well. Um, I definitely need some more white, so I'm gonna just do that before I start that process. Cool. Now I think I'm gonna start with I think I'm gonna start with just doing like in white and then I'm gonna add like a lighter blue to it and I may just then go back and put a white at the end afterwards like when I'm kind of all said and done so I'm just gonna use my brush again get some white on uh, maybe we'll start off with one of these in the back maybe I'll do this one here Ooh. No, we're not done with you yet. You need to stay yet, iPad. Okay, so let's say like here. So I'm just going to put it. Kind of like, and then that's going to be a bit more crashy. 
just bringing my brush along in kind of a scraggly fashion. Yeah, I think that's good. I'm going to get a little bit of blue and make it a little bit light blue. And we need to get it a bit darker on the underside of this wave to make it look more realistic. And then the background is going to look a little bit darker anyways. Kind of like that. Oh, but that works pretty good. Oh, I'm so happy you're having fun, Junior. That's so great. Thank you so much for your comments. It means the world to me. It's so great. <laughs> okay. Um, where did I make my last shadow? Oh, I think it's over here. <laughs> it's hard to see. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing here. Actually, my brush is already kind of a light blue now but that I think is going to work in my favor and then I'll just put in white afterwards okay and then I'm going to go back this time since that's kind of a light blue and we're going to put some white. And we're going to do the opposite. Since we're putting the shadow, we're going to put the highlight. I might prefer that. I might go back and put white on top of the other one. Like in the same spots, but just to make it pop a bit more. Yeah, you know what? I kind of do like that more. I'm going to go back over here with white and put it on top still have that shadow, but I think that, oh, that looks cool. Okay, this brush is crap. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's literally like a couple of the strings are like pulling out sometimes. Very, very annoying. Okay, so let's continue. Let's get another light blue happening and there's another wave here so i'm just bringing it across but just like i don't want it to be a straight line but i do want it to be nice and opaque so i'm just making sure the paint's getting on here really nicely okay i do want it to be a little bit there we go that one looks alright. I think I'm going to move on to the other one and then I'll add some more to it afterwards. So back here. I'm just going to bring it back that way. But I don't want it to be super uniform so we're going to mess up the line a little bit, shall we? A little bit more organic. Okay, and then let's do the other one. I'm still kind of just going with this lighter blue vibe. Year. That works out. <laughs> oh, great. I'm glad you enjoyed watching, Helene. Yeah, definitely try it and uh, share with me when you do. Oh, and you're Jody. Okay, good. <laughs> Okay, so because this is Junior, I'm like, okay. It's tricky sometimes with people's names. <laughs> nice to meet you, Jody. My cousin's name is Jody. 
more similarities, guys. It's crazy. No, but he, it's, but Jody with a J-O-D-Y instead of an I-E. All right, let's put in some nice... white to make it look like real wavy crashies. Okay, a little bit there. And then, I don't think this needs it too much. I think it's better like that. And this one seems a little bit weird. I don't know if I should have done that. Hmm. No, that's fine. That's fine. They're almost like water clouds. That's how I'm feeling about this <laughs> as I'm painting. <laughs> Kind of like a smooshy kind of vibe with it. Okay, I'm going to go back to my more medium brush, I think. And I'm going to do the waves down here. I don't know. I feel, I don't know if this is the right choice. <laughs> that one's just too thin. Okay. I'm going to go to this one instead, I think. I feel like it's going to be weird. No, you know what? I'm going to have to stick with this weird medium thinner brush okay fine we'll just do that okay so let's get some of this like blue light blue happening I think I'm gonna start with that and then put the white in afterwards so this is like a nice splashy wave happening here I don't like this brush for this. Yeah, sorry. I'm going to switch to my medium one. I feel like the medium one's going to be too... It's going to do what it wants to do, and it's going to bother me because it's going to go everywhere. But no, actually, I'll show you better. And I'll just do some more detail with the lighter one afterwards, I think. Okay, so I just need to tilt it a bit. I want that to be thinner. This kind of goes this kind of comes up and then it crashes over. Alright, I think that's how I'm doing it. <laughs> yes, you know what I'm saying, Jody. You have to go through many brushes. It's just the way they feel, like how they, I don't know. And again, and that, and that could be a product of the fact that I use very cheap brushes. So, you know, maybe if I didn't know which expensive brush was the best, <laughs> it wouldn't happen that way. Okay, I'm going to get some white so I can put in white at the tippity top of my wave this is not too bad because it's almost creating a bit of a splash it looks like little splashes are happening the way this brush does its thing. That's not too bad. It's just not as vibrant as the original. That's what I don't like about it. Okay, I'm gonna go back to this one. Just put in some more detail, I think. And mess this up a little bit. Let's make this crash up a little bit higher in a little spot.
get a little messier. That needs to be a bit more vibrant. It's not, uh, not popping enough on this side here. I have a bit more of this darker blue in here. I don't know if that's better or worse. But the color's kind of off. It'd be nice if it's a little brighter. I think I'm good with that. All right, cool. Where are we at? 7.48. Okay, so I think even though I still want to add more to my water because I feel like it's very sparse, I think, like, again, like, on camera, it, it's looking a bit more fuller from the way it looks on my computer. But to me, it kind of looks like... Um, an, an early 90s or 80s like you know Saved by the Bell at the max kind of vibe like with like neon <laughs> squiggles and all that so I feel that it looks a bit odd I think it needs it more um, layers to make it a bit more deeper um, but at this point I think I'm going to go back and put our our sun in just to be cognizant of the time, because I want to try to keep it to about the two hour mark if possible. But then of course, you can always, you can always go crazy and spend like, you know, as much time as you so desire on it. So I think what I want to do with this is what? What am I going to do with this? Okay, I think I'm going to start with white and one of my thinner brushes. And I'm going to decide where the middle point of my sun's going to be. And then I'm going to just bring out from here. So I'm going to just bring it out. From here. And then I'm going to just start messing it up a little bit with the light. We don't need it to be super straight lines. Just have a white circle and I'm just like putting little like lines around it just so that it Starts having this vibe that it's like radiating out. And also, I've never done a sun quite like this before, so we shall see how it goes. Okay, we do need some yellow happening because it does get it has a nice yellow glow around the sides. I'm going to add a little bit of yellow as I go to my outside. And then I'm going to blend it after I put in this kind of yellow flow here. Nope, do not go away. We are not done with you. There we go. Okay, so that looks weird right now. But we are going to make it look amazing. Okay. I'm going to go back to my white and I'm going to just start bringing more white to make the yellow blend. Right. Okay. And then, I want to keep this pretty white in the center. Okay. 
to switch my brush a bit. So instead of using this thin one, I'm going to go back to one of my, which one is going to be my friend for this one, this one maybe? We'll see. And then I want to just like soften these edges. So they're making them so normal. Cool. But then I still need to make my middle light. That's how I'm going to get so it looks like okay. So, with my thin brush, I'm going to go back with yellow first, and I'm going to make those kind of like lines that are like radiating out. So, from the center, oh, come out. I'm going to put a white line on top of that after. I just want it to have like a yellow kind of glow in the background. It's going to come out on this side too. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same here, but I don't know about this high. Maybe like there. And I'll come down a little bit. And I'll have some coming off the sides. Okay, so then now I'm going to get the white and we're going to go on top of that. I think I am going to use my super thin one for that portion of it. I just want to highlight that middle part. Oh, you know what? No. Let's just bring a line down this side too. Okay, so now which one, which one, which one? This one maybe? No, not that one. Um, maybe this one. Okay. I want to give it still like a sun circular energy vibe happening here. Now I'm going a bit rogue. But yeah, I like it. Okay, cool. All right, so I think we're good with that. Now, after doing that sun, it does make me want to put a little bit more highlights in this water. I feel like the sun would have more happening, have a bit more presence. In here, so I'm going to add a bit more before I call it quits.
Okay. I think that works out. I feel like there needs to be way more things happening down here. All right. Okay. So, I think for tonight, we're going to call it complete. I think. <laughs> For the, for at least for our video, we're going to call it done. So, um, I will show you what I mean by the bottom there. Like, I feel like those strokes are a little weird. I think we need more to give it more, like, dimension and body. I feel like it looks strange. But it does have that vibe. The, the waves turned out way better than I thought they were going to. I'm super happy with them. Um. I do, I feel like I still want to put more even in the water here too, just to get more of a vibe. The sun's all right. I'm not like super, super stoked, but it was neat to try something different because I normally wouldn't do these kind of ray things happening. So that was kind of cool. And I really love the clouds. So that was super fun. So that's mine. And I think I'll end up leaving it. We'll see. I'll be curious to see what you end up doing if you guys end up, um, I'm going to move this up now a bit as you can see me now. Um, I'll be curious if you end up, um, adding anything different to it. If you end up doing like the palm trees or if you end up doing like anything else on it, that'd be really cool. Um, will I spray it? I don't, I haven't, I don't usually, um, I do have, um, like a matte acrylic spray that is for that purpose. Um, but I don't usually, I don't know why that would make more sense. <laughs> I would suggest doing something to protect it, especially if you're going to have it up on a regular basis and you um, want to keep it safe. I, I would definitely do that. And thank you so much for your birthday wishes, guys. It's really sweet of you. Thank you. Um, so please, please, please snap a picture of your creations and share it with me because I'd love to see it. Everyone has their own technique and style and um, idea of like maybe putting something different or unique in it. So I'd love to see it. So please share. Um, I'll put up a post with this there so you can take a look and uh, see my finished one there too. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it. Again, if you are interested in having any types of uh, paint parties, uh, virtually of course, uh, definitely reach out. I'll be more than happy to host them if you're looking for a host. Uh, we can talk about that. That'd be cool. Um, or any other type of events that you may need me for, I'm there for. Um, and um, that is it. So again, on Saturday, we'll have Oh, wheel. I always say it in like the third person, but it's, it's literally just me. <laughs> I'll have three more options for you um, to choose from. And um, then on uh, Tuesday, we will, I will um, count up all the votes. And the one with the most votes will be the one that I will paint on Wednesday with you all. And we'll go through that again. All right. Oh, I'm so happy, Asif. I can't wait to see yours. Lisa, I did great. You're so cute. I love it. Where will you find it? You will find it on my um, Facebook page. So it takes a moment to process. And then under the videos tab, all the videos are there. Um, so you'll find it there. Or you can go on my YouTube channel under Lisa's Painting Parties. And in about two hours or so, it will be available there. Whatever you prefer in terms of watch watching, I think you can do all the same functionality between both sites. So whatever you like. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy, Jody. Yay. I'm so happy that you feel that way. Jody was saying that she's learned a lot in the short amount of time and can't wait to watch it again. Um, I'm really happy that you feel that way. That's great. And yeah, like and anyone else who hasn't seen this before, there's a, this is the 55th party. So I have 55 videos available. So if you are in a painting groove and you want to do more, go check it out. See the ones we've done and yeah, join in and, and definitely still share pictures. So I'd love to see them even if you do one from like last year or whatever that'd be super cool I'm approaching by one year of doing this um that's at the end of March I think um it might have been actually mid-March when I initially started but fully live was around the end of March so super 
super cool that i've been doing this for about a year and we're approaching close to the 500 5 000 follower mark which is insane to me so thank you all for your support and uh for coming along on this painting journey with me and have a fantastic week and i will see you next week <laughs> all right have a great night everyone bye